In lesson one, we illustrated how to search and transfer your own back office data using the CAP search feature. If you have not reviewed lesson one, please do so before proceeding with this lesson. With the original sale records transferred into the CAP application, the next step is to select a test comparison commission plan that can be used to reclose and recalculate using the same sale records. There are three separate methods for assigning a test comparison commission plan within the CAP application. The first method is to simply select an existing commission plan that has already been added to the CAP application. The second method is to duplicate an existing commission plan and modify the copied plan and once altered, use it to reclose and recalculate the original sale records. The third method is to create a new commission plan from scratch and once created, use it to reclose and recalculate the sale records. All three methods are extremely easy to learn and use. Let's illustrate the first method, which is to simply select an existing plan already created and saved within CAP. With the original transfer run completed and displayed here on this home screen, highlight the plan name by clicking it and once highlighted, select the Show Results button. Located at the top of this summary screen is the Manage Plans button. The Manage Plans option is where commission plans can be created, modified, and selected for an analysis run. At the lower section of this Manage Plan screen is a list of the existing commission plans that have been previously added to the CAP application. To instruct CAP as to which commission plan to use for the comparison analysis, Simply select it by clicking on the plan name. With the commission plan name highlighted, select the Done button to close this screen. CAP now knows that this is the plan that will be used to reclose and recalculate the sale records. With the test plan selected, the CAP summary screen will display the selected commission plan on the right panel. Selecting the Recalculate button at the top of the screen will instruct CAP to reclose and recalculate the same original sale records, except this time, the test commission plan will be used. CAP now has two analysis runs. The first run used the original commission plan assigned to the sale records, matching the back office data. The second run used the test commission plan selected from the Manage Plans commission screen. The next lesson will illustrate how to compare the two runs against each other to see which of the two commission plans would be a better choice for the company. There are two additional methods for creating and or modifying hypothetical commission plans that can be used in a comparison analysis. We will use the Manage Plans option again, but this time, rather than just selecting an existing plan that was already added to the CAP application, we will illustrate how to modify an existing plan. With the Manage Plans screen displayed, select the Commission Plan to be modified. Simply click the Commission Plan from the list below. In this lesson, the Premier Plan C was highlighted instructing CAP that this is the plan to be duplicated and then modified. With the Commission Plan selected for duplication, select the Options button. This will display a number of options. To duplicate the Premier Plan C plan, select the Create Duplicate from the list displayed. The Premier Plan C is now ready to be modified. Every Commission Plan requires a unique name. So the first step is to change the name. For this example, the first modification will add one new level, making it a four-level plan. So the new name for the duplicated plan will be Premier Plan C, four levels. To add the new level, select and click the Add New Level option as illustrated. In this example, a number of modifications will be made to the performance levels as well as the various commission rates assigned to each of the four levels. To change any value, whether it be the performance amount or commission rates, 
Simply click on the item you want to modify and enter the desired new value. This is the new commission plan named Premier Plan C, four levels. As illustrated, a number of changes were made. When the first commission rate is modified, which is the in-house list side, the remaining three commission rates to the right will automatically change to the same value. Any commission rate can be changed at any time by simply clicking the rate to be changed and entering the new value. Select the Done button when finished making the desired changes. Select the Recalculate button to instruct CAP to reclose and recalculate the sale records again, but this time with the new hypothetical plan that was created using the duplicate feature. CAP now has three separate runs that were reclosed and recalculated using the original commission plan, an existing plan, and finally the new plan that was created using the duplicate option. There's one more remaining method and this option will create a new hypothetical commission plan from scratch. To create a new plan from the beginning, we use the Manage Plans option. Selecting the Options button will display a list of options. To create a commission plan from scratch, select the Create New Item from the list. A new commission plan builder screen will be displayed allowing five values to be entered. These five values will be used to automatically create the new hypothetical plan. All commission plans must have a unique name, so the first step is to enter a name that has not been previously used. Plan names should describe the characteristics of the plan for easy reference. The first item is number of levels. Enter a value that represents the number of levels desired for this plan. In this example, the number five was used. This will instruct CAP to create a plan with five levels. The second item is the performance amount. Generally, the performance dollar value will reflect the broker owner's break-even amount required to cover operating costs and earn a reasonable profit from the sales associate. The starting rate percentage value is the commission rate for the first level of the plan. A percentage of 50% was entered in this example. The ending rate is the percentage value for the last level of the plan. In this case, level 5. The ending percentage rate is from the broker owner's perspective. This means the sales associate would earn an 80% rate should they reach level 5 during their commission year. The last item is the method used for determining the sales associate's year-to-date performance amount. Three options are provided. In this example, net to company was selected. The performance amount value should reflect the performance comparator used with the plan. With all of the values entered, select the Create button to instruct CAP to build a commission plan using these parameters. As illustrated, CAP instantly created a new commission plan. Before saving the new plan, the Builder option allows the values to be modified if desired. In this example, Level 2 and Level 4 percentage rates were altered. Changing the in-house list rate percentage value will auto-populate the remaining percentage rates for that level. Any rate can be changed prior to saving the new plan. To save this newly created commission plan, select the Save button. Once the plan is saved, it can no longer be modified using this screen. The Duplicate Plan option, discussed earlier, would be used to make changes to a plan that has been previously entered or created. Select the Done button once the plan has been saved. The Builder screen will be closed and the Manage Plans screen is displayed. Scrolling to the bottom of the list of commission plans will show the new plan just created. Highlight the new plan by clicking on the plan name. Selecting the Done button closes the Manage Plans screen. CAP now knows that this is the plan you want to use to reclose and recalculate the sale records one more time. As illustrated earlier, select the Recalculate button to start the reclose and recalculation process. When completed, the CAP summary screen will display the four separate runs that were processed, using four completely different commission plans, 
but always using the original sale transaction records. This is the end of lesson two. Lesson three will illustrate how to use the compare feature to analyze and compare any of the runs against any other run in the above list.